know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, fungus, we're going to go talk about what are some of the symptoms. If you're having foggy thinking, usually you've got fungus. Now what, what creates that foggy thinking? There's a couple of things that create it from the fungus. First, the brain eats sugars. And if the fungus is eating your sugars, it lowers your sugar so you, you don't have enough sugar to run your brain. The second thing from the fungus that causes poor thinking is the aflatoxins. Aflo, A-F-L-O, toxins, T-O-X-I-N-S. That is basically the poop coming off from the, the fungus. It's a, a neurotoxin and causes our nerves not to work as well. Um, I believe that fungus creates within our system a neural net, kind of like the Borg, you know, they communicate with each other and they're throughout our body and they'll actually attach to the neurons and send messages like, go eat a candy bar, go, <laughs> you know, go get some more sugar into your system. Right. They, they're they very, very creative. They're very good. They help me not eating my Salad for wow. Mm -hmm. So they communicated to you talk, and told you not to get that vinegar into you. Yeah, because yeah, vinegar know it. I know it. vinegar is an acid. Yeah. And in fact, that vinegar, I used to use vinegar douches for women with chronic yeast infections and usually I'd clean them up pretty good. You know, or at least get get it away for a week until her husband would reinfect them. But yeah, they're very creative in how they convince us to get sweets into our body and convince us to eat more. If if you're overweight, you've got fungus. It's it's an amazing thing. As I killed my fungus in my body, I lost weight. And you can get to a more normal weight. I'm I'm amazed how by using lots of antifungals and then, you know, ACG diet and different things. I was able to, to get down to where I really want to be. And right now I'm weighing a, a good weight for me. I feel good at this weight and I'm active and I have lots of energy. But if you don't have energy, it's a sign of having fungus. Chronic fatigue people have fungus, you know. Fibromyalgia, the fungus gets into your joints and your muscles and the aflatoxins and fungus cause an aching within your body and they cause inflammation, chronic inflammation. Um, Rashes, most of the skin rashes that occur in humans are due to fungus. And I've also found that mold are due to fungus. They're due to, you know, brown or black uh, funguses. When I got uh, malignant melanoma, the fungus within my body was a black fungus. And it caused the melanin, the pigment, or the blackness. And when I cut out my sugars, you know, and did cleanses to get rid of fungus and parasites, the melanoma went away. So, you know, very interesting. Uh, as I put oregano or other antifungals on different molds on my body, they dissolve, they go away. It's fascinating. I, if you look at your age spots that you get on your hands, they, they're dark and they, they call them lipofuscin, okay? The lipofuscin is caused by fungus in your liver. And whatever's happening in your liver will manifest on your skin. So as we age, fungus gets in our liver and in our other organs and actually causes our skin to age. Very interesting, huh? <laughs> so if you're looking down, you go, oh geez, I've got some of those age marks. If you work on getting rid of your fungus, those age marks will actually shrink and start to go away. But, th but it takes determination, it takes getting rid of your sugars, you know, and all these things. Uh, whenever you feel 20 to 30 years older than what you really are, fungus, because it deteriorates your system. Every, everybody I know who has went and had a uh, hip replacement, knee replacement, elbow replacement, whatever, Fungus is what gets in there, destroys the cartilage, destroys the synovial uh, fluid, and causes people to get these worn out uh, osteoporotic uh, joints. You know, so it's the fungus. They eat it? 
literally they get into your joint and they start eating it. My mom came in today. <laughs> I hate telling stories about my mother. Of course, she never watches YouTube, thank goodness. But anyway, um, she had a popping, a new popping in her one shoulder. And I looked at it and I saw fungus in her shoulder. And I, you know, and felt intuitively it was fungus. So I put her on an antifungal today for her popping in her shoulder because when fungus gets in a joint, it actually produces carbon dioxide gas. That's one of the waste products of fungus. And that carbon dioxide is a gas and it will actually accumulate in the joint and make a popping noise. It's very, very interesting. But as you get rid of the fungus, the popping will go away. <laughs> and if you get popping in any tissues, like, like sometimes you'll go to a massage therapist and you'll have an area that, that has almost gaps within the joints, it's a popping due to the fungus.